Welcome back to Dieter Plays. This is a highly requested video for you about how to set up a custom bot. People have asked me, how do I have Meatbot? Well, Meatbot is, you guys can come up with the name of your bot, whatever you want, but this is a tutorial on how to do that. Hey guys, so if any of you watch my streams, you know that we've got, you know, we've got Nightbot there. Nightbot does his thing, but we also have our own custom bot called Meatbot. And I've gotten messages from several of you people of asking how to set up Meatbot. And I don't know if you wanted to use Meatbot, you'd have to have sign-in credentials. So that's the thing. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to really have sign-in credentials for you. But if you make your own Meatbot, I don't care what kind of bot you make. But it's kind of cool to make one that's kind of custom for your channel. So uh, whatever your channel is, you know, maybe you have something that would be, you know, fitting for your channel. So first thing you want to do, you want to go to HTTPS and then it's fussbot.io and then slash download.php. We're going to put this link here in the description for you guys and then you go in there and you can download this. I have had Fussbot on my computer for over two years, have never had any problems. I've done virus scans and so as far as my use of it, it is safe. I have not gotten any problems. So just download this one. It's kind of like OBS, you know, but it says, you know, it's been kind of a hobby project. It doesn't really have any warranty or support, but there are updates so I get updates oftentimes so there is quite a bit of support because they are always improving this thing so once you download it and you open it this is the Fussbot interface right here you will have these will be red because you have to have a bot account a streamer account and a YouTube gaming you have to have just basically all this stuff set up so first thing you want to do you have your YouTube account the regular YouTube account that you stream on now there's also a different YouTube account that you want to create for your bot okay so this is my bot right here it is Meatbot. I made a YouTube account here. Uh, Meatbot. I put a little bit of art on there. And so this is going to be my actual bot that I've got on my channel. So once you've got that stuff set up, if you go into the Fussbot menu, you come over here to settings. And this is where you want to go to the top part where it says authentication. So you see how it says authenticated there and authenticated here. You've got the status of the bot login and then the streamer login. So the bot login, as it's as it's described, is the login for the bot. You're going to have to go click on authentication and then you would enter the email address and the password so that you can authenticate that actual bot right there uh, and then same thing here status with the streamer login so in order for the bot to be able to you know work as a moderator on your channel you're gonna have to do this authentication for your YouTube channel as well you're also gonna want to make sure You'll want to go into your YouTube channel, like your main one that you stream from, and go to the community tab. You can go to my channel, and then you can do video manager. And then once you've got this little menu on the side, go to the community tab, and down to community settings. So in community settings over there, you've got right here, Meatbot. You want to make sure that you grab this link over here. So this is the channel. This is the, the, the Meatbot channel. You want to control C, copy that link, and then go to your communities tab, and paste there so that 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 is actually a moderator and has the privileges to be a moderator on your channel. So make sure you set that up and then once you come in here you've got the status of the bot login and the streamer login. You've got it working right now. It is working. Well it, it has to be signed on your channel for your live stream. We're going to show you how to do that but there's some other stuff over here. Let's see with the connections. Uh, just if you want you can actually connect it with Streamlabs and Patreon and Spotify and then uh, like over here the spamming system that's where you would put like blacklist words like words where you don't want people to say things and the timeout conditions for that over here in custom text like if people are doing a raffle or auctions or coins or something basically there's some default text there but if you want you can go in and you can make changes to it same thing down here with custom text too another thing that you can look at here is configuration which is really cool you've got coins over here you can set up your own currency so we've set up our own which is meat coins and short form is of the currency is MC people could do like exclamation MC and then they would see how many meat coins they get uh, in my channel people they get 10 meat coins every 10 minutes uh, they get some for subscribing they get some for super chats and there's all different settings here you can enable a reward system dot uh, MC command is for checking the balance and you can enable that and you can enable a give so that people can actually give stuff to other people and a timeout so that people aren't checking their their balance like every five minutes and stuff but then there's other cool stuff here you can set up ranks for uh, watch time or coins that people have you can do up all sorts of commands here to, to set up during the stream uh, you you can link it to Spotify if you want. Now, just be careful. Spotify, they're going to play a bunch of music, and it's going to be likely copyrighted music. So if you were trying to play this and you were monetizing your channel or your live stream, then you might get a copyright strike. So don't. I, I would just, you know, if you're monetizing, just avoid that uh, if you can. Uh, so, and then we've got 
about other texts here that can have like automatic announcements that pop up and you can set those up in announcement settings and you can set up new announcements pretty simple and straightforward there's other cool things like bank heists you can set up the words for the bank heists people can set these up and it's a fun little thing that they can do during the streams and try to get a bank heist going and various things will occur as a result of them being a part of the bank heist same with arena it's another little fun game like they can enter the arena at a certain time they can start it and then they can also follow the commands to kind of dodge and be in the arena and then there's one person who wins at the end there's also gambling other mini games and things that you can do in there uh, so much here to look at in the control panel here you can see the people who are viewing you can actually look at like the number of coins people have you can set or separate them by minutes watched uh, you can look at the chat but I mean you've got the chat going on uh, you've got auctions here that people can set up uh, there's giveaways that you can do so if you want to do a competition you can have it so that the title is you know this you want to do a, a command for it that starts the raffle and then gets them in the raffle and these are conditions to set up a raffle so it's really cool here's a poll if you want to set that up too you've only got so many options uh, you can do betting you can set up so much cool stuff in here really and over here in the advanced tab you can set up the donations and everything so once you've got basically these things are all optional you can set these up how you want for your channel just go in there and mess around set up a currency make it fun for those people who are hanging out during your live streams just make sure you are authenticated here you are authenticated here and then here in the dashboard there's no like one link that you can like use all the time that's gonna work for you so basically what I have to do is I have to sign on Meatbot every stream so when my stream starts I have to go to my channel I have to find the actual link to my live stream and then I come in here and I do connect and then I do yes connect via stream URL and then I post the stream URL right there and then I connect and then after I do that it's not gonna connect right now because the stream is not going it has to be an actual live stream that is going on so after I do that I connect then I will get a little green here thing here that says that it's connected and then boom Meatbot is on so you have to make sure you connect him during your stream so usually what I do is like during my streams uh, I'll start it and my viewers will remind me they'll say turn on Meatbot and I'm like oh okay so I'll go and I'll snag the link I'll come in here and I'll have I'll have it like basically set up on my channel so we can have my channel open and ready to go and then what I'll usually do is just refresh that so I, I don't have a live stream going now so it's not gonna be here but during my live stream I'll come in here and then I will refresh up here and then usually my live stream will show up here if it's not showing up right away then click on the videos tab and then you can scroll down and sometimes I don't know why but the live stream that is actually live at the at the time is a little further down on the list I don't know why it doesn't make any sense but that's the way it is so that's all you have to do to have your own custom bot guys you can just go set it up the way you want you can call your bot whatever you want you can call it meat bot you can call it like fun bot you can call it uh, fun time Freddy I don't know you can call it whatever you want and you can put all sorts of pictures in there for his profile uh, just make sure you get it signed on during your live streams and if you have any questions just put those in the comments uh, I'll be happy to help you guys if I can and if you're new here I would love to have you subscribe uh, join this community and thank you for watching and we'll talk to you guys later bye